Hey guys, what's up? Ultrasounds Gaming 456 here, and today I'm going to show you how to how to make a cool legit intro. Okay, got that? Okay, good. What? But normally when you think of intro, you're thinking like, oh, making an intro is super hard. Well, it's not that hard, but still, you need to animate the words and then... And you gotta animate the background. Ah, oh, so hard. Well, actually, this website allows you to make your own intro. No, no, I am not kidding. You can make an, your own intro with this. Credit to my credit to my credit to my friend Co Kobe. Um, Kobe plays HQ. He makes. He made uh, a few intros for me and my other friend, Riley. Riley plays. Riley plays games. What was it? I forgot. Whatever. But he makes awesome videos. So check him out. So yeah, hopefully he gives me money. Hopefully he gives me. Uh, anyways, moving on. Let's get straight into the video. And before we do that, oh shit, I suck at this. Anyways, before we get into that, this. Ha this needs no downloads except for the video. You're gonna have to download the video. No downloads. No sign up needed. Unless you want to upload a, your own intro or your own animation to this site. Anyways, it's simple. All you gotta do is type in panzoid.com. Simple as that. And then you can click on Clip Maker. Now, this is pretty cool actually because you can make a clip maker it's a powerful online 2d slash 3d animation tool it's a background where you can cre create graphics thumbnails channel art and lots of stuff and mostly uh, most of all the coolest thing a video editor now that's actually pretty cool because you don't need to spend your your space onto anything except for the videos um, to anything because this has got your back. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. Now, in the first step of making an intro, you can you can either start from scratch, the hard thing to do, or you can or you can up or you can use one of these one of these templates on the website. The easy thing, aka the easy thing to do. Anyways, you can either click on Clip Maker and or go here. Hold on, let me just delete these. I was making an intro, but it kind of failed. Come on, go. I don't care. Come on, leave. Okay, so you can either click on Clip Maker and then choose an uh, an intro from the side, and then and then it'll just be imported there. Or you can use one of these one of these you can just click on it like hmm, let's see this one and say do clip open in clip maker it looks pretty cool so let's just open in clip maker just click open in clip maker clip maker or go to home and click on clip maker and then there there's lots of intros lots of cool stuff you can make animations yeah so, anyways, so, um, you can use, you, you, so, in order to look around, use the left click, hold left cl click and hold left click to look around, hold, click and hold right click to, to move around, so, yeah, now, if you want to see the final preview, then click this eye icon here to see the final preview. Now, I don't know what this is, so yeah. And then, once you want to start, just click the play button. Now, now that was a pretty good intro, actually, and well, <laughs> I just noticed something. They just put a bunch of green circles in order to make a green screen. Anyways, 
So moving on, you can make intros and outros. So in order to change the text, hold on, let me just. Okay, so in order to change the text, click, go to the side, click menu, the three lines here, and then you can see the names. You don't have to do that since you can already click him if you already remember the names, but you can do that if you're just starting out and you need to know what to do. What to do. So, click objects. Okay. And then look for something that says text, okay? If there's two of them, that means like they're using the the person who made it. They're using two to make a custom. Daddy, oh, daddy. Hold on, hold on. I'll be right back. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, I got some problems with my cousins. They're stupid and young. Anyways, so, as I was saying, if there's two, that means the guy who, the person who made this intro is using two to make a cool little text animation. So, in order to fix it up, you gotta change them both to the one, to the one, to the same exact name you want them to be. So, for the sake of this, this video, I'm gonna just name this. Maybe. And then do the same one with the other, with the other one. And then boom! There you go. There's your animation. You pretty much started off your first animation. Okay, now once you're done that, click final, click the eye icon again, and then click play. To another world. But that's not the only thing this thing can do. Check this out. You can make intros. Hold on, it's loading. And outros. Now, how cool is that? You can make intros and outros. This looks pretty cool. Now, change that to the. Now, to change that to the name you want, click. Do the same thing. Click. Okay, click the menu bar. Click objects. Look for the text. Look for the text. And then final, and final, final, and click the eye icon, and then click play. See, that's how you that is how you make an awesome intro or outro. And then once you're done, scroll, click the click the menu, and then go down to download then these options are already really good you don't have to change them then click start video render then click start video render now this is gonna take oh some a while to to do it to um load but but once you're, once it's downloading click a button that says download and then it'll be downloading just like this hold on Takes a while. It takes a long time. But anyways, I don't want to waste my time. Anyways, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay.
So once you're done, you should have something like a um, you should have something like a um, how do you, where is it? Hold on. Should have something like a MKV file. You won't be able to upload it anywhere because it's not MP4. So look for a MKV converted to to convert to a um, MP4 like this. Now maybe you're gonna have to download something or there's online converters. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.